Missy, Missy, don't forget us. Don't forget us. Don't forget us. Bye. And that was how Uche chapped and left me all alone in this Nigeria. Hey people, what's popping? Kilo Shale, again a name, eh? Let's go there. Okay, wonderful people, beautiful people. It is your favorite Achalugo, Dara Gizel on the microphone. If you are new to my channel, I am Chidera Gizel, a Nigerian lifestyle and fashion vlogger living in Oberi, Imo State. Welcome to my channel. So, you guys, I am currently in Lagos from my previous videos. You should know, although when I'm posting this video, I may be back to Oberi. Anyways, today is February 18th and my big sister Uche, most of you on this channel know her. Uche got married in December, December 11th and her Saudi Arabian doctor husband went back to Saudi Arabia second week of January and this is, let's say the second or the third week of February and Uche is going to join her hobby in Saudi Arabia. Arabia yeah she's leaving Nigeria for the first time and this is the reason I came to Lagos because my mom was like this is her first time of leaving Nigeria that she sees so many people when they're leaving Nigeria they come with their whole family extended family the airport to be full it's be emotional they wish the person well that it's somehow it's be too lonely for her to come to Lagos alone and that she also needs somebody that maybe when she's giving all those documents doing all those checks at the airport and all of that the person will be looking after her things the person will be with her until she crosses the boarding gate something like that i mean she crosses that place that they usually enter before they start waiting to go through the boarding gates anyone i don't know how international flights work but she needs someone that will be with her until she finally leaves nigeria so she insisted that i follow her to lagos and that is why i came to lagos at this time of the year so Uche is living for Saudi, um, it's mixed feelings, I'm not going to lie, it's mixed feelings. I'm happy, I'm so happy for her that she's going to join her hobby, she's a young wife and all of that. And distance marriage is not easy, it's not something that everybody can do. This, just, this is the best thing for her to just stay with him in the same location and they build their marriage. But also I'm um, kind of sad and melancholic because yo she's my sister and one man have come and stolen her away from me and he's not carrying her outside nigeria and leaving me alone in this nigeria anyways let's just go let's just be going to the airport i was already emotional yesterday night i just hope my emotions are not all over the place in the airport anyways i'm going to be leaving now because we already booked the boat and the driver is closed and he has already arrived so you guys relax and enjoy this fun and emotional vlog Let's go there. Oh, she say hi. hi. Where's my little Cheshi? Okay, give me a pencil and a so i didn't dress up on time on this day so i couldn't eat before leaving the house so my uncle's wife just said oh yeah yeah let me just pack something small for you so that you can eat and at least let something be in your body before you find something to eat yeah so i just ate something little and we stopped at this place called ajao estate lagos it's super close to the airport yeah so uche called somebody a day before to help her with a particular food stuff i don't want to call the name in this video a particular food stuff yeah so the person got it ready for her and we had to stop at this bus stop to get it meanwhile i saw an abu seller for the first time in so many years and i was like yo people still actually buy abu in case you're wondering what abu is abu is like herbs like they cook herbs and they sell them abu can be good but the disadvantage is that there's usually no recommended dosage so some people just take any amounts they want and sometimes it can be counterproductive but most times it's actually good anyways uche and the girl concluded what they were doing they packed the food stuff very well in the box and yeah we're headed towards Muritala Mohammed International Airport Ikeja Lagos So 
so we got to the airport premises at this point you guys lagos airport is so so big like it's so big maybe in some countries it may not be considered a big airport but like it's the biggest in nigeria if i'm not mistaken because i've been to abuja airport and it's not as big as this over airport is just a building <laughs> and lagos airport has so many buildings like it's a really really large space so this day would be the first time i would go to the international airport lagos i actually never noticed that the airport i was going to was just for local flights that the one for international flights was quite far like it's not even trackable it's something that you have to enter bus except you have muzzle to them to trek to the local airport but normally you have to enter bus to get to the local airport from the international airport to tell you how big this airport is and there are usually a lot of people at this airport bureau the change sellers that's people that sell and buy dollars yeah there are usually so many at the airport at the international airport so you are going to see a lot of people selling ghana bags that's ghana must go bags because sometimes when some people go to check in their load their load usually exceeds the amount of kilograms so they usually transfer their things from their boxes into ghana bags because boxes have the own weights that they carry so you guys can see uche now she was so tense at this point her flight was around maybe two three but we got to the airport around few minutes past 10 because her hobby told her that since it's her first time traveling that she should just try and get to the airport very early so that they can sort out every document and everything and she will go to the boarding gate side and sit down comfortably and wait for them to board the airplane instead of her getting to the airport and rushing and doing all of that many many stuff so at this point we entered into the place where the airline that she was using to travel but i mean where they check in their passengers yeah we entered into that place at this point and uche was sorting out her documents showing them all the documents ensuring that everything was complete and your baby girl was just here <laughs> yeah i was actually looking after her load i actually came in handy at the airport because i was the one at this place where they seal their load with this nylon they do it for international flights they don't do it for local flights yeah so i was at this place ensuring they seal the load and ensuring that the load was safe while she was sorting out the documents so at this point she was done with everything yeah and they directed us to the place where we had to go board yeah so when we got to that place uche decided to enter a store at the place to get some snacks that she would eat while on the flight because she was not sure whether she would like the food that they would give her yeah when I mean, she was done buying i was like oh yeah madam give me every naira you have remaining with you it's going to be of no use to you in saudi arabia so she gave me most of the money left with her yeah she was not left with so much she didn't withdraw so much because once she leaves she won't be able to use it so she gave me most of it and we headed towards the boarding gate side oh, don't forget us so. <laughs> don't forget us don't forget don't follow man and forget us and that was it i was not allowed to follow her beyond that point anyways before she passed that place before i told her bye i made sure we took a lot of pictures we were lucky to see someone that also took pictures for us and yay uche left me for saudi arabia hey guys i'm trying so hard not to cry So Uchi just left. Um, they have boarded. They have gone to the place where she passed the boarding gate. Sorry, I will come back on camera. So guys, as I was saying before, my emotional self interrupted. Uchi just left. Like she went into the place that people usually sit before they tell them to board, like the boarding gate site. I don't know what they call it for international flights whether it's the same thing anyways she just entered into that place and they said i couldn't follow her beyond that point so i'm actually going to local airports yes i'm going to local airport side mm2 i'm going to an e there. Yeah, i think kfc or any e there yeah, because Oni is actually coming to see me only only pearl vlogs if you are not subscribed to our channel you're on a long thing you're missing out on something serious so i'm actually going to meet only at the local airport side um yeah i'll see you guys when i get there i'm, I'm creating a scene with this video i'm making here 
yeah so i got to the local airport at this point and i met with only you guys this was the day i went to buka hot in one of my vlogs i think my last two vlogs the one i said enjoyment wants to finish me in lagos yes it was on this day that we ate amala i ate amala i took a lot of good pictures and i had a nice time yeah so you guys uche is out of nigeria and this will bring us to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video do give it a huge thumbs up up. subscribe to my youtube channel share this video let's move this ministry to the permanent sites iwatago and hopefully 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 i'm going to be seeing you in the next one for now bye kiss kiss love you